Thanks a lot, Sam. As you mentioned, standing by with trainer Jonas Sernison of the uh, six medalists. And Jonas, going to ask you about a couple here tonight that you've got left on the card. First off, congratulations. Had a win earlier with Scully SAS. She looked very good. Medalist here, she had a nice win last time. It looked like just an easy win, 58 uh, flat there. And uh, Corey had been on her. He opted off. Uh, what do you think about this Philly's chances? Uh, I think she should be doing pretty good. She's been coming into herself pretty good here lately. So I'm hoping that we can see something big out of her tonight. And it seems that uh, maybe you've started uh, several of these fillies off uh, right here at the Red Mile with us as part of the overnight meet. Did you just want to stay out of the stakes at this point and just try them out in the late closures? Did you not feel like we're ready to go in yet? Or what's what's going on with that? Uh, this filly, she didn't have anything else. That's why we put her in the late closer after the stallion series were done up in Pennsylvania there. And uh, Scully, she has been coming along a little slower. And so I just wanted to give her, give her a better, easy start and jump right in with the big girls right away. Right, and finally on tonight's card. Now, race nine, you've got always in Blackpedia. I happen to think that's a bit of a live long shot in there. You added hobbles to her recently. She seems to really be coming around. Uh, and you've got your main man, Oscar Floyd. He's in the bike there on that filly. Yeah, she been, they've been getting along pretty good. So that's why I let Oscar keep on driving her. And the owner is agreeing with that, that that's a good match. So we're hoping for some luck there, too. And Oscar uh, actually works for you, I believe you told me. Is he uh, looking to have a career in the States maybe as a driver, trainer, or do you know? As of right now, I'm just hoping he's going to stick as my second trainer <laughs> because that's what I need him for. So, But he's probably going to be driving some of them too. So, Well, good deal. We'll look for that in the future. Now, moving along, actually, Maven set the uh, world record there at Delaware. What a great, great mile. Dorsey, of course, you've got uh, two mares that are just once-in-a-lifetime type horses. Can we expect to see them in action here at the Red Mile? Yeah, last Sunday, they'll be out in the All Ridge down here. So um, nothing, nothing for them the first week here. By second week, they'll both, they both be here. All right, well, we'll definitely look forward to that. And finally, uh, Jonas, one final question. We've got the uh, sales coming up, of course, next week. We've seen a lot of the uh, top trotting trainers over the years, Jimmy Taxer, Tron Smedjammer, Ron Gerfine, just to name, name a few that have actually went into the pacing ranks. Do you ever have any plans maybe moving on down in the future to uh, move in that direction? Uh, we had a pacer this summer uh, for one of our owners, so, I mean, I think I can train a pacer too. But uh, most of my guys are uh, sticking to the trotters, and I'm okay with that. Whatever you're sticking with right now, it really seems to be working. So best of luck in the future. Best of luck uh, here at the race meet and at the sales. We're going to send it back upstairs to you, Sam. Thanks very much, Gabe. And uh, Sarnison's medalist, the six horse, still the two-to-one favorite as we get.